What's up guys, James Hudson here, I'm trying to help you guys kind of kind of find a quick fix for an automotive issue. I'll tell you a little backstory about mine with the fix that happened, the repair at the dealership. So Saturday, uh, two days back, I was driving, I was on like a little side street and then all of a sudden there was some kind of like a little bit of a vibration from under the hood. And so it seemed like maybe Maybe I had like some like bad fuel or some kind of like ignition issue going on. Could have even been like a bad motor mount, like that that type of vibration. Cause because it was when I put on the, the AC. Since my vehicle is under warranty still, Chrysler 200, I right away uh, the dealership was still open. The one that was nearby me went ahead, went on down there. The guy plugged in the code reader. Mine was at the house, but I just wanted to go ahead and just drop it off and see. Possibly, hopefully, it would still, since it be under warranty, it would be fully covered. I didn't want to try to just, you know, MacGyver it and see what I can do on my own. So I dropped off on Saturday. And I, I asked him right away before, before I left to get a rental car, you know, like, like what, what code are you seeing? Because he had like one little separate one. And then. Yeah, this was one where you just plug it in and then pull it out and it'll show the codes it's uh, sending off, the ECM. So this was a, this is the OBD2P0301. This is cylinder number one. Since there is a one that has the last character, I'm guessing that represents the number of cylinder. So if it would have been cylinder three, it would have been P0303. And on like that. Just my hunch. So, what was the final uh, issue with it? It was the ignition coil. It is a boot kit. They did, they put lubricant, uh, replaced like ignition coil boots. They, it had, they greased it and then labeled, uh, cleared codes. And then everything's back, so it took uh, 0.5 labor hours to do it. Out of pocket for me was nothing. Perfect, thank you, Chrysler. So that probably fell. It probably fell within the powertrain warranty, to be honest, because it was a relating to the engine specifically. So with that, hopefully that'll help you guys out. While this is probably something particular and specific for Chrysler vehicles it could possibly be the solution for other vehicles so what you could do is what I would say, hey buddy stop so if the um, if the spark plugs have not been changed I would say go and change those first you could do you know, the spark plug and spark plug wires replace those if they're over, if they're overdue, if they've already ran their course of use, go and place those. If it if it still has not solved it, then I would go with this ignition coil boot. You know, they they have a little bit more sophisticated diagnostic tools to use than us, you know, backyard mechanics do. So those are just kind of like some possible solutions I would say with you for your possible solution if you're getting a misfire like that. Highly recommend you getting these little consumer diagnostic code readers. Man, those are awesome. I've got one myself that my dad gave me. Those will definitely save you for sure, no doubt. So get one of those to have nearby. It can kind of guide you in the right position. It will probably tell you if you're getting this code or other similar to it, ignition related. Then you can kind of go from there. All right, so I hope that helps you guys out. Once again, this is obd 2 P0301 misfire on a Chrysler 200. With that, please like the video, subscri uh, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.